guys and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect. Today we are going to be making ourselves some sort of mob showcase farm thing. Yeah, it's got, we're going to have some fun. So I hope you guys are ready. All right, so he, so hear me out. So I've been thinking that this world is, you know, I, I have a little bit of friends, right? I have a couple of chickens that I've never really met and a few cows that uh, I, I don't even know their names. And um, we have all of these sheep that, well, I mean, honestly, they're they're just a tool. I mean, pretty much the only friend we, ooh, there's a kitten. The only friend we really have is Barry B. Benson that's been over here since a few live streams ago, right? Um, I'm thinking maybe we should get some friends <laughs> in our world. And I'm, I, I, I really would like to collect pretty much everything. Like we have all these bees and stuff, but like, what if we set up some way to just slowly start collecting different mobs and different, um, different species of animals that are currently in this world and have an area to show them off and maybe come up with a uh, unique names for them and things like that. Like I would, it'd be really cool. Um, so I was thinking of an area to do that, right? So right over here where we ended up setting up our fishing dock. I noticed that this area right here would be the perfect place to build such a thing underground. Like we have it like as a underground museum sort of thing. And I really like building underground because um, it just saves so much time when it comes to building. You can do some really unique things with an underground build. And I would I would love to do that. You're not really limited by your, your roof or your walls. And I was thinking maybe just we just kind of hollow this out a little bit as much as we can. And we just create these rooms. Like I have so many ideas flowing through my head right now. Um, so I'm going to be clearing this out, but I want to go over a few things that we did do during the live stream. This is also probably a project that we're going to extend into the live streams because I have been doing that pretty much after every recording session. I, uh, I edit the video and then bam, jump onto Twitch. So if you haven't followed me already over there, it is twitch.tv forward slash chosen architect. Of course, you can find me on Twitch pretty easily just by just by searching my name as well if uh, you don't want to use that link. But anyways, this right here, let's talk a little bit about what I have done uh, outside of, uh, you know, the, the average recording because we have a live stream project that we are working on over here in our world. And you may be wondering, like, what do you mean live stream project? What is that? Well, <laughs> well, we are building in this world. And I figured that would be a really cool thing to do and take a look at what we've already done so far. Um, I have a, I have some plans. I have some plans. I want to go with this color scheme so far, but this looks really cool, right? I've noticed there was like these ring structures. And so I was like, you know what? I could probably set up some sort of like ring that goes in between these uh, mountainy areas. And then notice how this reflects down below. So I'm thinking about also applying some kind of uh, pattern that allows me to build underground or underwater as well, almost looking like a mirror reflection. So this is gonna be really cool. Um, I think right in the middle, we're gonna end up putting a giant statue. I think that's what chat ended up deciding would be a really cool thing um, was to do that. And so we might use this for something uh, later on down the road. I just I just don't know yet. Um, I'm kind of looking at these videos and like, I, I know they're, they're numbered by episode, but um, really I'm, I'm trying to get away from that. Like I, I feel like if you've noticed in my, my videos, I have stopped I did. I stopped this a long time ago where I stopped numbering my episodes and my thumbnails. I just don't really feel like it shouldn't be about the episode. It should be about the adventure that we are going on. And of course, having a number there kind of helps stay in order. But I mean, it, it really doesn't have to. Um, I think every video is its own adventure sometimes. So uh, really, you could pretty much start in the middle and, and probably not be lost. But I did want to just show you something that we're doing during the live stream. This is a project that we're going to continue to work on, but we have our own project now that we need to work on is that we just started, right? We need to collect some mobs. We need to get an area built up. So I'm going to work on uh, that here, here real quick. I'm going to get somewhat of a design going. I think we're going to use some glass to house these guys off. We need to get some way of labeling who they are and just start collecting some mobs and making some new friends. I think that's going to be the fun part of today's video. At the moment, I'm just sort of hollowing things out. And I wanted to ask you guys, so since the time of this video publishing, it is uh, now the day after New Year's Day. So what are some resolutions that uh, you guys may have made? Because I know, honestly, what got me into YouTube in the first place was a New Year's resolution. I know that sounds absolutely crazy, but it really was. Because in 2017, I had decided that uh, I wanted to start publishing videos. And at the time I was, I was working in a factory. 
Um, I've been there for over four years, and I, I really felt like it was that that straight up dead end job. Like that's I, I felt like I was going to be there forever, and it kind of sucks you into that that sort of mindset. But um, I, at the time, I'd, I'd I'd been inspired by other creators such as like Dire Wolf and, and several others, and um, I was like, you know what? I, maybe I could try and play this game that I really love and record it. You know, so I tried to do that. But it was it was all because of a New Year's resolution. I decided that maybe you know I was going to try and upload a video every single day in 2017, and I I did that. I did that. I think New Year's resolutions for some can be a life changer, and it definitely was a life changer for me. I mean, it completely changed my life. Um, I would have to say, uh, this becoming a, a job for me is uh, an, an insane life changer. Um, at least it's been, and it's been a, a life changer for my kids as well. Um, absolutely ridiculous. But I would love to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments. Like, what are some uh, some New Year's resolutions that maybe you have had success with in the past, and or like what's some some of your New Year's resolutions that you're going to strive for this year? I don't know. I figured, you know, while I'm sitting here just monotonously mining out, I was, you know, maybe maybe you guys would uh, like to share some of that. So far, the area is looking great. Now I'm thinking about putting some cyan terracotta on the the ceiling area, and I might pattern this out differently for each layer. I think that might work uh, work out. We have some terracotta. And uh, so if we start off with, um, I don't know, I'm thinking this color maybe, we might do the whole roof in cyan terracotta and then spruce it up from there, like not actually use spruce, but you know what I mean. And then I'm thinking white terracotta, maybe for the floor and then incorporate some of this, uh, this Securus log, not the, not the log in the floor, but the planks from it. I think that would look pretty good. Giving it sort of this blue color. Now, these are somewhat of the rooms. I was thinking, so I know for most mobs, I'm going to need a little bit of a space, right? Um, so at least having a little area that I can glass off, giving them a little three by three area should be plenty for most. And of course, we can incorporate whatever is related to that mob. We could probably put that in here. I think that would be kind of cool looking. And uh, this gives us a lot of room, like having a room for a cat, you know, like we could spruce it up and have like the cat like have its own little area in there, you know, maybe add some stuff that may be related to a cat. I have no idea. And, and like something for a llama, maybe have this guy. Well, I think these guys despawn, but um, for a lot of these guys, we're going to have to name tag them. So good thing we can actually make name tags, but I don't know. I got to go farming for some terracotta. Luckily, I have a place just for that. Also, we need to, I need to build a little bit of a walkway to get over here to make it look good. I also went ahead and uh, added this so that way we can walk up here and we have access to our other area. So all I got to do is uh, extend this and then, you know, add some uh, some leaves and some things to make it look nice and like it all fits in. I'm trying to make everything sort of, you know, blend with each other and make it feel like it was meant to be here. Like it slowly worked its way into this area. I don't know if I've gone over the building gadgets at all with you guys, but um, the the Bob the Builder here. <laughs> I love how that was named during the live stream. Uh, but anyways. Uh, this is the exchanging gadget, and uh, it does have a few settings. I have the hotkey just set to G on my keyboard. I usually like to just play with everything here, and so I disable all the other hotkeys and simply just use the interface. Um, now, you can set this to fuzzy. You can change all these different things. Now, fuzzy works a little bit differently. So at the moment, you can see if I have this set to surface, it's going to select a area that I have defined. Uh, I have it set to range four, but if it's set to range one, it's only one block at a time. And when I right click, it's going to exchange the block that I have selected. To select a block though, you shift right click on the selected block. And thus that's this one. If I select stone, you can see if I go to, if I, I, I have to have a stone on me to, to replace this, you can see it's red. Um, so it'll tell me that I can't replace it. Now, um, I usually want to make the area a little bit bigger when I'm working on these larger surfaces. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, set this to a wide area. Now you might notice this is also connected or, or selected here, which is called connected surfaces. If I disable this, you can see the area, how it kind of goes over to the left and is going to start filling this area. It'll actually fill underneath these blocks. And I don't really want it to do that. It's more of wasting materials. So I'd like to have connected surfaces on now setting fuzzy will basically say, okay, select this coal as well in the general area. So, so long as it's connected here, it should select it and uh, do that. If I have it set here, you can see it's only going to select these particular areas. So having fuzzy on can be nice at times. So like when I'm working on a large area like this, it's gonna be nice. You can see 
it, it only is going to work on connected areas, which saves you a lot of material, by the way. A lot of material. So since I'm in the mindset of building, I also wanted to talk about a new, an, another tool that I often use that you may not know about. And that is the trowel from Quark. It allows you to randomly place blocks. Now I did use it for this. Um, and it does look like in this version, it doesn't take durability hits, which is great because that was one complaint that I kind of had with it before is that it, it did take durability and uh, I would end up replacing it over and over and over again. Like I would, every time you place a block, you would use some more durability from it. And it just felt like over time I was replacing it more than it may have been useful for, but I'm so glad that now it definitely does not have a durability from the looks of it. Um, so you may be wondering, what am I doing? Well, these uh, these are sort of the patterns that I'm, I'm going with here um, to kind of make it look like they're little walkways. And of course, there's probably gonna be some other stuff that I end up incorporating into this. And I wanna kind of make it look sort of messy on the floor, like it's weathered. So switching between spruce and oak usually tends to do a, a good job um, of making that look that way. So I'm going with it. And then of course, I'm gonna come back and fix all my mistakes. No sense of me fixing them right now. I don't have the tools in my inventory. But this, yeah, this is gonna randomize basically a palette based upon what you have currently in your hotbar. As you can see, it's just randomly selecting items in your hotbar. Actually a pretty simple tool when you think about it. So I sort of have enough to set this up. I think we can go ahead and get one of our first mobs in here. And uh, I mean, the best name for this is probably going to be Dinner Bone. Just like this. And if you leave dinner bone, I think you can do a uh, grum as well. Um, this should cause this to flip upside down. Now, what are we going to make? <laughs> now, this is our first one. Uh, this is actually going to be a wither. We are going to get ourselves a wither pet. Now, if you kill the Gaia Guardian, you have a chance of getting the Pinkinator. And this is going to be, yeah, one of our first pets. And, um... I'm thinking like the best place for it is probably gonna be like right here, like right in the entrance. Maybe we can do it in the center here. I'm thinking right right here should be big enough. Um, we do have to spawn in a regular wither though. That is the scariest part. And then once we get the regular wither, I think it will just stay in place, um, I hope. So I'm gonna need some glass. I was going for mana glass. I only have six for right now. I do have mana glass panes. I was trying out different glass materials, but I think this will work for right now just to get them trapped in here. Um, so if we go ahead and place this in, oh boy, I'm sort of worried. Actually, I won't be able to place it because of the lights. Let me go ahead and remove some of the lights temporarily, and then we'll get this placed in, and then I'm going to hurry up and slap the pinkinator on it. I hope it doesn't blow up. Okay, good, good, good. No, 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 no. No! Wait, what are you doing? Don't die! Oh, thank goodness. Wow. Thought you were gonna die. You have no reason to die. Oh, we're gonna have to deal with that sound? That is gonna be awful. All right, so I'm gonna hit this with dinner bone. Oh my goodness. And then maybe I can put the roof back together? What is, what am I attaching to? Oh, can you ride this? You can ride, no way. Okay, well, since that roof needs to be broken here, I'm gonna leave it like it is. And uh, we might have to, to mute the sound that this makes. Oh man, but that's absolutely ridiculous. I love it, okay. So, that is our dinner boned wither. That's one of our first pets. I mean, honestly, it's one of our first pets in our, uh, our epic area that we're gonna, I, I still haven't finished decorating this by the way, I've still got leaves and everything else to put in here to make it look really good, but so far, I think this looks pretty decent. So with a touch of love and a little bit of leaves and foliage, I think we have something looking good. Now, a little bit of bone meal, and I think we have everything set up, ready to go. Now, all we gotta do is get some more, uh, get some more guys in here, right? I think that will be perfect. So we have all the foliage that we, that we need, and I think like each one, like other than like this guy, of course, I've already sort of decorated this a little bit. It's so loud. Um, I'm definitely going to be using a filter, <laughs> sound filter for that. Oh my goodness. The wither is just, it's too much. I was thinking about putting like some kind of fountain here, like some kind of water fountain. That would be kind of cool as well. Um, sort of like a little water area right here and make it look like water's coming out of the, uh, 
Yeah, that could work. Water coming out of the wall. Man, just ideas, man. Ideas are flowing today. I'm feeling good. I don't know. This new year. It must be the new year. It's got to be. It's got to be the fact that it's the new year. Things are looking great already. Man, I'm just I'm just excited. I guess that's just part of it. All right, so let's get the... Um, by the way, I have a chalice that I have made uh, a while back ago from Reliquary. Uh, Reliquary... I don't know where I put the chalice. I thought I had it. Oh, it's right here. It was right in front of me. Yeah, <laughs> can't nerf this. Um, so we have a little water that we can get uh, spewing from here. Of course, I can fill this entire thing with water. Just like so. This chalice is an infinite water source, by the way. I absolutely love this thing. And look at that. We got a little water pond. It didn't take too much to do. So I want to find some peaceful creatures. Like creatures that are super peaceful at first, and then we can also fill this in with some some uh, less peaceful uh, mobs. By the way, just there's a dog right there. Like, we can definitely grab a dog. <laughs> like, why not? Also, I ended up by extending my range uh, during the live stream. Underneath here, we have, finally, I can access this, which I could have just popped that open before. Um, so let's go ahead and get a dog, like our first dog. Like, what are we gonna name it? Like, what are we gonna name our first dog? Oh my goodness. I have Sven. Can we? I'm, I'm just kidding. We're not. We're not naming him Sven. <laughs> it wouldn't be bad to have a, a little Sven dog. But man, what are we gonna name him? That we gotta come up with a name. I am definitely naming him Bowser. Just like my dog, I have at home. You're gonna be uh, named Bowser as well. All right. I, I think you need. You need to come over here, and uh, we need. You need to protect this area. Okay, Bowser. All right. You're gonna protect this area, including. Mrs. Pink Dinner Bone over there. All right. Promise me. Just promise me. All right. Promise that you'll stay here and you'll protect everyone that's here. Okay. I think that's a deal. I think that's a deal. Also, uh, since it is Bowser, we probably want to get some blue and light blue. Actually, would probably be really good. And dye the collar light blue. There you go. Perfect. Now you're definitely Bowser. So through my adventures, I have noticed some very interesting um, mobs, right? There has been some very interesting mobs. I think there's one right here. Look at this thing. Very interesting mob that I want to get a hold of. What is this? Is this a bug? Or is this a mob? It looks like... Okay. It's always oh, from uh, the Ars mod. Ars Novu. Interesting. Is there anywhere we can put it where it won't run away? Oh! <gasps> Oh, it almost sat there and decided to jump. No, no, you cannot. Okay, so it is a carbuncle. I've got to look this up. What is that? Okay, fair warning. Do not Google that name. <laughs> fair warning. I, I warned you, do not Google that name. It is not satisfying at all. It is so gross. Do not. I Okay, do I even want to keep this thing in here? Oh, man, that... Is that what this is supposed to be? I have no idea. I'm so like, ooh, like don't don't Google it. Just don't. Okay, uh, it still looks kind of cute. I don't. I haven't. It's just been kind of running around. I don't know if it's cute at all, to be honest. <sighs> Let's just place some glass in here, and place it down in here. I'm okay. It is super cute looking, but when you Google what it is. It is not cute at all. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna name tag it. Don't pop me. <laughs> oh man, just don't don't Google don't Google it. It's it's not good. Okay, don't pop me. I could have named it. I'm Tinder as well. <laughs> I'm sore. <laughs> oh man. The 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 things the things I do for you guys. All right, let's let's name it. Did I name it? Yes, I did name it. It's wanting to jump out, but that's a nope. You're not getting out. You are forever in this box as my pet. Now with some mobs, I'm having issues. The mob imprisonment tool will not pick up some of these mobs, um, and I'm wondering, will the other method work? Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's probably because I haven't really explained it before. But when we break mob spawners, we do get a thing called a spawner shard. And some of these recipes may not be super clear because it's the new version of Minecraft, right? So a lot of new recipes require this, which is great. The smithing table actually gives a nice use for the smithing table. 
Um, but let's take a look at this. Smith, or not, sorry, not smithing table. Um, this is going to be the spawner shards. Yes, this right here. So if we take a look at what this is used for, you'll see that it requires the arcane crystal block. I believe we do have our enough arcane crystals to make this. So we just need one of these and that inside here, and it will generate a quantum catcher. Now a quantum catcher is, I, in my opinion, from what it read, very similar to the mob imprisonment tool. Uh, but will it pick up mobs that the mob imprisonment tool cannot? That's what I'm curious about. And does it have a durability? Okay. It just picked it up and it does not have a durability from what it seems. Um, can it pick up multiple things or is it just related to one one thing? Uh, because I have there, there have been some other uh, tools that I've used that pick up multiple things. Let's see. Can it pick up more than one? Nope. Seems like uh, it's one at a time. Okay, but can it pick up these guys? Like, can it pick up anything? Like, at any entity, can it pick it up? That's what I want to find out. Because if I can catch one of these, that'd be kind of cool to just have it floating around. Okay, so it cannot be catched. Oh, man. Man, that would have been so cool. I want one of these in my base. I just don't know. Maybe, could, would a lead attach to it? I don't I think you can, like eventually make your own in this mod hmm i couldn't resist this this uh donkey was over there just saying me 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 oh pick me pick me pick me and i i couldn't resist i had to i i had to go ahead and uh you know bring donkey along i mean honestly there's there's no other name that we can we can give our donkey than than donkey um i mean it, it, really there's there's nothing there's no other name we could give them. I mean, come on now. So I also just found, of course, I could have spawned one in, but I just I just found myself an iron golem just wandering about. And, uh, well, I think the best name for this guy is probably going to be, uh, well, let's uh, let's see. Let's go and throw the name tag in. How about Irony. Yeah, I think that's a great name. Perfect. How do you feel about that one? Hey, he nodded his head. I mean, that, that's a, that's good enough for me. That's perfect. I, I'm sure they do, but fish, like, I'm sure they despawn. So we would have to, like, pick these guys up. I know a squid would despawn, but, like, these guys, I'm sure they despawn. So we probably wouldn't want to name tag some fish, like, if we put them in the pond. Like, I definitely want to name tag a squid, but, hmm, what should I name it? The perfect name, Anti-Glow. Because, I mean, honestly, I, I was kind of excited about there being glow squids until I realized what exactly they were going to be. And then I was sadly disappointed. Um, okay, so I should be able to place them in here. Okay, and then name tag them. Name tag, anti-glow. All right, don't die on me, anti-glow. I have a little water area for you. Like, please don't, don't drown in here. Like, or, or, wait, what? it wouldn't be drowned, would it? it whatever it would be called. I hope this is enough water for you. <laughs> Of course, as always, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, and that is going to go to Ben Hashu. I think I said, I, I, I'm almost positive I said that right, <laughs> but of course, you can always correct me down in the comments. Um, guys, if there's some mobs that you're interested in seeing, by the way, and you're, you're, I don't know, you're interested in seeing me collect, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Of course, I'm going to be live streaming this over on Twitch um, shortly after this, of course. Um, yeah, it, it's going to be, well technically the day of recording this so you i don't know just, just this is the best way to find when i go live is going to be to follow me over on twitch make sure you have the notifications turned on same over here um if you want to you can also follow me on twitter as well i also post notifications there so that's some way you want to know but guys if you're interested in becoming a patron just like this fellow thank you so much by the way for your support um if you're interested in becoming that and getting world downloads and all kinds of other server access and discord perks be sure to check down in the description below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, if you did, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a huge thumbs up. Guys, I really appreciate it. Of course, I'll see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.